Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you're brand new here, make sure hit that subscribe button. And after you get done watching this video, comment below if you have any personal questions for me. And really before we dig into today's video, I have an announcement to make. If you've been watching our YouTube videos, you probably know about this, but recently we launched a mastermind program. This is for coaches that are in soccer, basketball, baseball, football, pretty much any sport you can think of. If you are a private trainer or you're wanting to start your own private training business, I have this group you can click up here. It's a group that's specialized. Every single week in this group, we will be working together hand in hand. And when you click on that button up there, you can learn all about the program. It's very affordable. And again, this is my way of giving back to you. And this is my way of helping you grow your business every single week. And I know in today's video, if you searched on YouTube how to start a sports program, I want to go, again, every video I like to go very deep into how to get started, what to do, and I like to give clear actionable steps. And if you're brand new and you want to learn how to start your own program, this is going to go very step by step. And the first thing, and I think about 10 years ago when I started my own program, the number one thing that really held me back was fear of failing. And I know that's a real thing for most coaches out there. When they want to start something, you know, they, they inside their head, they want to do it, but then they think of all of the negative things that can happen. They think of, oh, well, what if I lose money? Or, oh, what if I try to do that full time and it doesn't work out and then I have to go get my, a, a different job. And the thing that you have to have first is certainty. You have to know that what you're about to start is the thing that you're meant to do. It's the thing that you need to be doing with your life. And that's the thing I realized for me. And I made the decision. It was, you know, I'm gonna start this program and I'm gonna go all in with it and there's no option B. And I know if you have that mentality, it's gonna work for you too. But you have to make that decision first. And when you make that decision, that leads into the second step, which is being very clear on what it is that you are offering. And this is a big problem I see with a lot of youth sports programs is they try to offer too many different things at the beginning. It's gonna be way easier and better and more profitable for you when you have a specialized niche. And I'll give you a good example. For me personally, if you've watched our YouTube channel, you know that I'm a soccer trainer. And because I'm a soccer trainer, I'm not just gonna go coach every single age group. I'm not gonna coach college kids, high school kids, kids that are three years old, and kids that are in middle school. I don't do that. I have a very specific niche that I serve, and I only stick to that. And that's what I'm known for in my area. And if I was known as the guy who could train everyone, then I'm really not known for anything, okay? So you have to be very specialized. And the more specialized you are, again, the easier it's gonna be for your marketing, the, the more well-known you are for serving the problem that exists within the niche that you, um, that you wanna train, okay? The next thing that we have to figure out is really, it's, it's just your marketing. And I know I talk about this, I, I say this all the time on my podcast. If you haven't listened to podcasts, um, go to the link in the description, like scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see that. But I talk about like email marketing and shooting videos and really just putting yourself out there to your audience over and over and over again so they know who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. And again, when you're starting something, you have to be able to put yourself out there. When you're starting and you don't do that, no one knows you. Like even if you build a website and you have all these cool shirts and you try to you know, showcase what you do on Instagram just by putting photos, no one cares about that. Like, no one's gonna care about what you're doing until they know how much like, you actually care about helping them. And that to me is very key. And when you, are, when you start to learn marketing and you get good at that, even if you start from scratch, that again is going to help you get more traction with <clears throat> your business, all right? The next thing that we have to think about is with your program, and I've talked about this in other videos, but if you, create a positive reputation and you are well known for helping kids directly. And I'm talking about like with private training or group training, 
you can have a personal relationship with these kids and you can mentor them. And when you have a good reputation for that, you become known as the expert in your area. You're not just this guy who does private training or group training and you have this factory of players that come in and out of your program. If you do that, you can't charge that much money and you're actually gonna be chasing clients. Um, when you have a program that's like designed to give one-on-one -on -one help and these kids are receiving help in a way that they can't get anywhere else, then you can charge more money, all right? And you can create a category of one business, which is something I talk about nonstop, all right? So if you put these pieces together, all right, you can create, build, and scale out a youth sports training program from scratch. And if you have any questions for me, comment below. Click up here if you want to learn more about our mastermind program. I can't wait to help you out. I'll see you soon.